Welcome back to take 444. We move on to the C's at last. Um, we're finished with the B's and uh, probably quite not quite so many in the C's as uh, as in the B's, but there's, I've still got quite a few um, to show. Um, this week I'm gonna be showing um, some absolute stone cold classics and one or two more obscure ones, um, mixing it up a bit. Uh, but I'm going to start off with uh, Cademon, who are a, were a Scottish, I think actually that they reformed, um, Scottish folk, acid folk band from, this came out in 1978, um, quite late, but uh, it's, it's an absolute stone cold classic, as I say, for acid folk in the UK. Um, this is the, uh, the label. This is on. This is a Gerson uh, reissue. There's the hype sticker. Um, it's fantastic stuff. Uh, folky with some fuzz gu guitar breaks, um, and it's uh, definitely worth picking up. Great cover art there. It was self-released when it came out, um, and uh, the. This reissue comes with a seven inch single as well, um, which is always nice. The same type of sleeve, uh, that way up. Yeah, Cade Mon. Um, this was their one and only album at the time. I think they've reformed and, and put out one or two other albums since, but um, yeah, fantastic progressive acid folk record, Cade Mon, 1978. Next, we go on to something else that probably people will know. Condello, Mike Condello was the uh, main man. Uh, and his album, Fate, or the group were called Condello. Um, and the album is called Phase One. Quite a pretty well known sleeve there. Another hype, good hype sticker there. Um, it says, uh, ornate melodic pop psych zigs into wild doses of fuzz heaviness lovers of great 60s psychedelia need to discover this lost treasure now and they surely do it came out in 1968 um this is a sunday's reissue um i don't think the, the originals are hugely expensive on they came out on scepter um i think that is that's the 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 um sunday's label uh that they reissued it on but it's a i think it's a an exact copy of the original Scepter label, um, and it's very good. It's uh, let me just pick that up. It's it's very good. Um, yeah, pop psych with pop psych with um, some lots of fuzz guitar breaks in it, uh, and the last track. I think it's the last track on side two. Um, it don't matter. Um, is uh, yeah, much much heavier and uh, long. It's a six-minute track, so it's, uh, they stretch out a bit on that one. Um, Condello Phase One, pick it up. It's a it's a great album if you like your pop psych. Next, um, another pretty well-known record. As I said, this mostly well-known. Um, well, they're well-known in psych circle circles. They're probably um, obscure to uh, the rest of the population but this is uh, Chameleon Church with fantastic psychedelic sleeve there this is a reissue on a karma um, again the originals are not massively expensive although they do always suffer from hugely from ring wear um, this is famous uh, foremostly because it has uh, Chevy Chase uh, the, as their drummer the comedian um, but it actually, it's a, it, it should be known because it's a, it's a great pop psych album. Boston band, part of the Boston sound, which probably didn't help because um, that uh, was overhyped. That scene was overhyped and uh, it kind of all died without going anywhere. Ultimate Spinach, all that sort of, those sorts of bands. Um, but yeah, so this is, uh, there's some good pop songwriting on here. Um, 
it's a bit like the it's kind of a, a little bit like the zombies odyssey and oracle that that type of uh, sound um definitely worth picking up if you can find it next up another great pop psych album this is uh colors that's the name of the band uh, with the english spelling um wonderful sleeve there uh and this is a promo copy um and that's the back the back cover so this came out in 1968 they're a band from los angeles um that's the original inner sleeve on dot pretty well known label there um they've they've been comped quite a bit to, um and rightly so uh, the first track on here um bad day at black rock baby is in my mind an absolute classic uh pop psych sunshine pop track brilliant brilliant uh lyrics and fantastic sound um they should have been much bigger but uh they didn't really go anywhere i think um yeah, Colours, self-titled album, 1968. So next up we have, as I said, some Stone Cold classics. And this one is uh, one of Psychedelia's uh, most famous albums. This is CA Quintet and A Trip Through Hell. Very famous album. It's playing in the background. It's never far from the turntable. Brilliant stuff. This is Sunday's reissue. They came from Minneapolis. Uh, this was recorded in 1969. This was their one and done only album. Uh, came up, came out on uh, a label called Candifloss. Uh, didn't sell and um, originals are, are a few thousand now. Um, but this is a fantastic uh, reissue and uh, the whole album is just it's creepy, it's psychedelic, it's uh, atmospheric, um, as you can hear, lots of backwards guitar and stuff. If you, if you like psychedelia, um, this one is, uh, this is one that you need to pick up. Um, Trip Through Hell. Uh, it's been comped, bits of it have been comped pretty, pretty much uh, over the years cold spider on the side one has been on lots of compilations um but uh yeah there's not much more to say it's just it's a very well known album in psychedelic circles and as i said they only re released one album but they uh there was another album put out um ca quintet last trip at lake pepin this came out uh 10 or so years ago probably 10 or 15 years ago this is their last performance um at high school in uh wisconsin um and because there's nothing else available uh this is is really worth picking up it's not fantastically recorded obviously the the sound quality is not great it was recorded in a high school high school gym I think um, and they do uh, <laughs> they do a lot of covers they do it starts off with and your bird can sing by the fab four and then they go through badge from cream born to be wild and I'm a man and they do a uh, a cover of light my fire um, light my fire they do fair it's a is a fairly um, faithful reproduction but and your bird can sing when it that kicks off the album um, You'd be hard pressed to recognise it. Uh, they really, they really stretch it out, and uh, it. I mean, the riff and everything is different. It's it's fantastic. Uh, comes with a an insert. Um, but yeah, if you can if you can locate this, uh, I would. It's worth picking up um, as a if you if you like the original album as a as a, a sort of adjunct to that. Um, because obviously they didn't release much. Uh, it's just interesting to see what they were doing when they were playing live. Uh, CA Quintet live. Next, another famous record. Um, this is Complex. This is a, a UK 
band uh, based in Blackpool, I believe. Um, so this this came out in uh, 1970, I believe, 71. Um, it was produced as a set of demos. Um, that's the so I so that's the the label on this 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 album. Um, I've got two copies of this album. Um, uh, this this one has got a pasted on cover, um, and uh, the back behind the paste on is a is the other. It came out in two different versions, so it came out with the black and with the black background, and then it came out with the orange background. The orange background is the original, um, as the original came out. So this was done as a demo to uh, to get a record contract and get some gigs and things, um, and it was released in tiny tiny quantities uh, I think a hundred or less um, and is uh, known as one of the holy trinity of uh, UK rare psych albums private pressings along with Forever Amber and Dark which I shall both get to in good time um, this is uh, I don't think this is as good as either of those but it's it's pretty interesting it's um got that basement feel 1970s 71 um, uh, it's all original songwriting, lots of organ. So the other copy I've got um, has a different different insert, um, and is on orange vinyl. But it's not a fantastic pressing, so I picked up another one, which is much better pressing. Um, this is on Vinyl Revival. Uh, I'm not sure if any of these are legitimate, um, but uh, but it's it's definitely worth worth picking up. The originals are uh, I don't know. I think they're ten thousand dollars or something now. Is that right? Have I written it down? So no. One sold on eBay recently or in the last few years for fourteen thousand um, dollars. Quite why anybody would spend that sort of money on a record, I don't know. But uh, each to his own. Um, when you can pick up a decent uh, reissue, um, I guess the scarcity is what attracts people. Um, it attracts me, but it doesn't attract me to that sort of money. Um, next up, we have something that's uh, much, much less well known. This is uh, an album um, that came out in 2016. Uh, this is called The Cult of Free Love. And, and Love Revolution is the name of the album. So uh, that's the, the splat of vinyl. So this is a drone, this is a Welsh band. Um, lots of droning, uh, ambient electronica on here. Very psychedelic um, and uh, it's got a cool cover. Um, Definitely worth uh, seeking out if you can find it. I don't think they're hugely expensive. Um, that's the the track listing on the back. The Cult of Free Love. Next, we have uh, a Swedish band called Centrum. This is the, net, the album's called For Meditation. Um, and this came out in uh, 2019. Again, it's a droney album. The great in inside cover there, the gatefold. Um, it's a uh, yeah droney psychedelic. It says it's for meditation. It's a bit too interesting for that, in my view. There's a, it's on bright red vinyl, scarlet vinyl. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's it's. Uh, it's a good record. Um, it's, uh, as I've said before, probably many times before, Psychedelia is a very broad church, uh, so you can have a, an album like this, which is a uh, low key, droney, electronic, uh, and you can have uh, progressive folk all un and pop, pop psych all under the same umbrella. I love it all. Um, yeah, this is on Rocket Records, I believe, not Elton John's. Uh, yeah, Rocket Recordings, nothing to do with Elton John though. Um, and last up we have uh, an album 
that's uh, also a bit of a classic. This is uh, 1972 Clive's own band. Whoops, there go the notes. Um, this is the insert. This is their uh, second album, Moisha McStiff and the Tartan Lancers of the Sacred Heart. Um, and this is uh, great stuff. This is dreamy, psychedelic, uh, progressive folk, uh, acid folk as it could be called. Um, this is a reissue on Sunbeam. The Sunbeam album comes with uh, a digital version. And um, it's, it's really a, a classic UK psych uh, acid folk album um, that really needs to be hit, heard. So this is uh, the whole story. It comes comes with a great booklet, um, and that's uh, so C O B. They're called uh, Clive's original band, Clive's own band. Both of those they went by. Uh, that's the guy. Uh, that's Clive Palmer, originally in the Incredible String Band back in '65. Um, he left before their first album. Uh, went touring. Uh, journey around uh, Morocco and India I think it was um, as was the the trend there and he came back and he put this stuff together and it's fantastic there I have got their first album um, called Spirit of Love I think it's called um, I've got that but I couldn't locate it it might be in there somewhere I'll find it and uh, show it to you when I get round to it um, but yeah definitely pick this up brilliant record Clive's own band Moisha McStiff is the name of the record. Um, Clive Palmer. Um, that's it for this week. Uh, there'll be some more soon. Um, stay tuned and keep spinning those psychedelic records. Bye.